Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for winning at the game mode Juggernaut. So in this game mode you have two teams, one person on each team is a guy known as the Juggernaut who has loads of health, a minigun with infinite ammo, a railgun with two shots and five proxy mines. If the team's Juggernaut dies then the team dies, simple. The attackers who are allowed to die an unlimited number of times are armed with a pump shotgun, basic assault rifle, a grenade, a pistol and a submachine gun. So let's get this started by talking about the attackers should we? The attackers are there to, on the most part, protect their Juggernaut. They can move faster as well as jump and climb on top of obstacles. So they can get the jump on both the enemy attackers as well as the juggernaut at times. Ideally an attacker should do a lot of the work damaging the juggernaut. If there's no enemy attackers that are near your friendly juggernaut, you can use your one grenade to throw out the enemy juggernaut. They do quite a bit of damage to them but if you get killed in the process it doesn't really matter because you'll just respawn and have another grenade on you handy. So just go back and throw another grenade at the juggernaut. Meanwhile, the Juggernaut's main job is to take out the other Juggernaut. Ideally, if the Juggernaut has a good team of attackers with them, they shouldn't have to worry about enemy attackers throwing grenades at them. Although it's not the end of the world, since a Juggernaut can simply kill an attacker in mere milliseconds if they spray them with their minigun. But having to kill attackers is a distraction for the Juggernaut and takes away from their goal of killing the rival Juggernaut. Then again, that's why you have proxy mines. You can use them to block incoming attackers, but bear in mind you never get a resupply, so the five you get is all you're getting for the entire round, so use them sparingly. To kill the rival juggernaut, I personally like to just hold down the trigger on my minigun. When using the minigun, it's important to know that because it's a weapon that you always hit fire, bullet streams that you fire off may visually hit low obstacles, but as long as your crosshair is aimed at the thing in the distance, your bullets will hit them just fine. You can use this knowledge to your advantage by sort of glitch firing through cover to get the upper hand on your target. Using the railgun to attack in my opinion is something you gotta try out. It'll deal quite a lot of damage if you get hit with it, but on the other hand you only have two shots with the thing. Maybe try spending these off before going back to the minigun. So eventually I spray the rival juggernaut to death and he's dead and that is my way of winning at the adversary mode juggernaut. And hey if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyron Gaming channel for loads more GTA Online guides coming to you very soon. See you around!